Alright everybody, um, welcome back to the Mopa project. So, uh, today we're going to be working on the grass again. Uh, but before that, I wanted to tell you why I did actually quit yesterday. Um, because uh, because I was actually busy working on something. Um, I was working on a thumbnail right here. Um, but one of the problems I had with this thumbnail is that I apparently used two tick of the lines. So... Next time uh, when I want to try to do no once next time when I try to do uh line work I w I will go for the five instead of the instead of the eight because uh it gave me a lot of problems like uh, uh after that because it is not the right amount of uh how do you say that line thickness let's put it that way yeah. Anyway, no further ado, uh, let's get started on this, and uh, today I want to finish up uh, this part of the grass. So I want to finish up this part grass right here, and uh, get this hole uh, drawn in. Or at least you know that's what I'm hoping to get to. Alright. So the first things first we need to do is figure out where the grass is located. There it is. Then we need to go back to this one. And we need to go to 3.6. Alright. Now we can start. So, yeah. Uh, line thicknesses. Um, apparently when you do line thicknesses, there can be some differentiations between them. And it can happen. Which is kind of a bummer. Oh, I'm using the wrong color here. I'm using the wrong color. There you go. And, um, yeah, such line differentiations can actually lead to major problems with the artwork itself uh, looking off into the drawing itself. Of course, I'm going to be uh, still using that uh, uh, thumbnail because, well, you know, if we just continue with the same line, uh, if we continue with the same style, it will not uh, change the problem. It will not change the problem, but it will also not create new problems later on. So the next time I want to draw something, I need to remember that I need to, pr uh, need to press 5 instead of 8. And since that I'm now dedicated, I rather wanted to see it through than uh, removing it. Alright, now we have done this. Uh, this is too straight. That's the main issue. We need to make sure that this not look straight enough. Um, there you go. All right. Now that we've done this, we now need to make sure that we do the rest as well. So, um, how now are we going to fix this up? Same way as the other one? Yes, yeah, same way as the other one. Ugh. That's going to be a hard one to do, but sure thing. And the more we do this, the more it gets uh, done properly, but uh, the further away we get, the more difficult it's going to be drawing the grass. So I really want to make sure that I'm doing this properly now. So yeah, I made some mistakes and uh, I'm ready to fix them tonight or tomorrow, probably going to be doing tomorrow. And then, uh, well, not fixing it, just seeing it through and then see where the thumbnail leads. And see if I'm interested in having that thumbnail. But 
so far it was a very good experience almost i must say especially the way of how to design it and what kind of poses i want and what kind of idea i want with it bringing back old characters bring uh and then you know putting them in, into the drawing itself it uh it's always a very fun little experience that can happen which i'm very happy about honestly So, um, yeah, the main, the main issue that right, right now we're having here is uh, that the grass might look a little bit uneven or disformed. Depends on the situation at hand, which I want to prevent it as much as possible. But drawing further away... There you go. But yeah, the ideas that can cause certain types of things to go along with it, it's, it's quite funny to see. Especially when you're trying to figure out like certain things, like style or uh, positioning. And then you suddenly change up the uh, style of the artwork by... Uh, Making a tiny mistake in the line art, uh, making a tiny mistake in the line art, it's it's quite hilarious. The way I do fix that, I probably would go for something like you know, um, I would have been then able to. Well, I shouldn't be able to if I want to draw. I then need to, to make sure that I drew it in uh, a different uh, uh, different thickness. But since then I cannot remove it manually, I, I'm stuck with it. Eh, no big deal though. Here is it, for instance. The main problem is that the grass uh, I already drew needs to be overlapping with your grass that I'm now drawing. Also, I need to make sure that the grass is also uh, not having a lot of spaces between it. To prevent uh, the color uh, color from catching on. Because we want this to be as chaotic as possible, uh, well, while still remaining to keep, uh, while still keeping the, um, how do you say that, keep the effect of grass in there. Of course, you know, that can only be obtained by doing a lot of it, a lot of it, and, uh, yeah, it takes some time to do. Right, and the more we draw, the better it gets, so no need to worry about that. The only thing we need to worry about is that we make sure that this looks further away than the one that we draw here, so more close, closer, more clustered, while still being a little bit more crazy on the, uh, the grass bit. Oh. Because if we don't do that, uh, we're going to be might in a little bit of trouble. Alright. Um, let's keep it this way. This way we still have something to work with, and we also have the big tree. Then we can also overlap this tree right here. Making it feel round. Nice. And now we have grass. Ish. Yeah, grass. Ish. Should I have been opening it like this? Uh, no, I actually want this to be a little bit more upwards, so it's more upwards feeling, yeah. 
the main issue I always have with this uh, with this grass is that it is very hard control because it's always like you know little spikes drawn in, and the more spikes you do, the more detail it gets. The more detail it gets, it gets more uh, accurate and uh, and so and so. Um, yeah, not much to say actually. Just really enjoying the drawing here. Yeah. I've been working on a lot of things right now, so definitely, you know, I might sound a little bit tired, but it's more like, you know, I'm a little bit out of words. The main issue with that is that, you know, <laughs> my words are not always the right things to say things about. And trying to do st stuff is always a, a good thing. Um, So, yeah. How am I going to fix this? Probably not right now. No. So... This grass, once the gr once the color comes into it, and once we have some shading into it, it will look decent, or at least you know decent enough for me to uh, get it right. I believe. Hmm. What do I like about this? Probably the amount of grass I'm trying to draw here. And the more I draw, the more better it gets, but it just takes a lot of time and effort. And the hand is already feeling tired of <laughs> today's drawing in the first place that I did off screen. Not the smartest way to start things, honestly, but um, a start nonetheless. And the more grass we draw, the better it gets. So as you can see right now, we have some decent grass. We have the grass feeling like grass. And the more we look into it, it gets better and better. And as you can see already now, even though we don't have any colors on it, it already feels more immersive. It, it feels like the grass is there. And we can even implement this even more further if we... Um, if we add some more grass in this side, like so, this way we have grass that goes up and down. And now if we now fill this up with grass the way how I intended it to look, we can then fix things. Um, so uh, by creating the amount of grass right here as well, this whole thing will be looking like one big giant grass hump, which is the intention anyway. Just the rocks give you a little more more variety. That's all that the rocks do. It gives you more variety of what what's goes uh, what what is on the grass in the first place. The main issue is that that is sometimes a little bit difficult to do. Um... All right. No, I need more. I need some more uh, grass in there. Yes, like this. All right, good. That will fix it, I believe, once we add in the things. Um, right here, I need some more hard drawing. Why is this too much of a blur? All right. Hold on. Right. I'm trying to get this all up and running properly. All 
Alright, good. This will fix it. Uh, now that we have done that, we can now continue here. Where we're gonna be drawing random stuff. Random shark tooth. Depends on the situation on where we lead this shark tooth set, and that will create the feeling of grass. The more the more we draw them, the more variety that it gives us, the more less of an open field it looks like, and then you know, once we draw add in all the detail then things will go better for me. Um Honestly when uh when I'm done with this I will probably be able to do this properly, but right now it's a little bit of an issue. And uh, we're getting to the point where we need to be anyway. It's just that it is a very hard thing to do. Especially since that we're busy fixing a lot of stuff that we had that been done. All right, but uh, that's also good to know, you know, uh, the the mistakes I made back uh, back today. I uh, I made I I then know also that if I make this mistake now, then uh, in two weeks I will be able to do uh, the pre uh, I will be able to do the draw contest again, uh, the initial draw contest. Uh, in on Pixiv, I will be able to do it again a little bit more flawless without any shenanigans happening like, you know, wrong uh, or detail loss or anything else that can happen. Which is nice because that was one of my major uh, concerns that I was not able to f figure out like, oh, what if I draw and, you know, things go bad? Well, that's the experience. If you figure out that, you know, you made a mistake in your drawing, you can then try to fi figure... Oh my god, I made a mistake. God dang it. I need to really recognize and I need to create this one right here. Because I'm still having this part right here done. And then, once we're done here... Oh, I can draw over this? Yes, I can. Oh, okay. That's not good. Alright, this is gonna be a very careful mission then. It means that this part right here is not on this side. It means it is on the different side of it. Which also means that I need to be very aware of it once I draw the... Um, once I draw the grass on the main thing right here. So we're gonna draw grass right there. We can do this. So yeah. The more we do this, the better it gets. It's just that, you know, all this work will be eventually being added on to. And the more we do it right now, the more better we are going to get in two, mo in two weeks' time. Because in two weeks, we're going to have a big day. A big, grand day again. And I must say myself, I'm very happy upon what I did with the thumbnail in the first place anyway. It looks very cheerful, which is my intention anyway with it and I like I like what I like what it does all right um uh, I don't like this part all right There we go.
Oh, right. <sighs> now that we have done this, um, now we need to make sure that we do it correctly. So we need the grass. We need lots of it. We need grass first. And we're going to add it in to here as well. So we... Not on this one. On the grass side, please. Thank you. So we need to have grass on this. Right here. Right here. I'm just filling in the parts that we have been leaving behind in the first place. So right here, right here, right there. So on and so on. All right, now we have done that. We're gonna also fill this up because technically we need to. And we also need to fill up this part right here. Yes. All right, now we need to close this down and we now need to fix this. This is gonna be the most difficult part ever to do and we are gonna do it with, I think we're gonna do it with this one. By fixing this, we will be able to get to the point where we want it to be in the first place, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult than it was before, that's for sure. Because as you can see, we have like major issues. Uh, one of the issues that we're going to have is that uh, the rock itself. So if I now move, I, there you go. The rock itself is going to be an issue and the grass right here is going to be hard to do, but I'll try to do my very best to fix all of it. It's just a bit difficult, just a tiny bit. Because once we have the color done, we can then, you know, implement the rest of it. So there is no, there will be no need to. Oh. Um, oh, all right, hold on. There we go. All right. So, as you can see, this will take a lot of time because we need to technically uh, get all of the parts that we need to draw in. So, we need to erase this, need to erase this. And then just casually walk towards the point where we want it to be in the first place. Alright. But it's good to see. It's good to see, good to know where we're gonna go with this. Um... There we go. All right. So this will be a very relaxing part of it. It's just, you know, very heavily concentration on fixing the damn uh, colors of the uh, drawing. Not really too uh not really too excited at all but hey you know you gotta do what you gotta do this time we what we gotta do is actually fixing the goddamn uh grass and then you know once we have the baseline of the grass done we can then you know implement the coloring on it and then the shading on it and all the other then the all the uh, then all the other stuff on it 
which then gives us more of a leeway on how we want to approach this. Because before we had like, you know, very meh part, and now we're like, you know, in the middle of fixing the fixing the last bits up, like, you know, here, here, and the only issue that we have now is to fix this part up so that we can, you know, start with the rest of the drawing. Because if we filter, if we filter this up, we then only have to do fix the tree right here, and boom, it's easy done. It's as done as Darnel Darnels, probably that's the word. I don't know if that's the word, but hey, you know, that's just me. But yeah, once we fix that. Everything will uh, go back to normal because then we have the tree done, we have the grass done, and then we can, you know, move onwards to the next tree. Uh, what is going to be the difficulty of the next tree, though? Um, probably the positioning and the amount of detail I need to uh, detail I can use because I will be limited with it because of how the trees need to be uh, looking looking right looking i believe that's the word right looking yeah all right but the good thing is that we're trying to do a well, well the good thing is that i'm trying to do my very best here to fix all of it and uh this might take a lot of time but it eventually it is worth it to do so because the more i do this the better it gets and as long as I keep like you know the way of how I want this grass to grow how this grass functions and then you know fix the rest of it I don't think people would mind that much It's also fun to see that, you know, all of this grass getting shaped and getting shaped and seeing how it all functions. It, it, it's uh, quite entertaining. Sometimes I don't even remember, like, you know, what what to do with it all, all the time, but uh, it's uh, it's good to see that, you know, I'm making, I'm making progress. Even though the progress might be a little bit slower than uh, before because of all the issues I had all the way and I, I'm still recovering from uh, the, the problem that is at hand, you know, um, getting back into, getting back into the, to, into the drive of all of it is uh, really hard sometimes and uh, trying to do that, like, you know, take baby steps with it, it's, uh, it's, it's much better, it's much easier. Note, by the way, how I'm, uh, Note by the way how I'm using the um, I'm using the uh, eraser part of the brush instead of the uh, instead of the eraser tool. Um, that is because if I use the eraser brush, I won't be able to get to the points where I want it to be without causing too much of a hassle. Like for instance, right here with the grass, yeah, that's a that's a very hard one to do if I don't do it properly. And this will fix it quite easy, I must say. All right, now we're gonna up it, and I'm gonna up it again. So that we can see exactly what we did. All right. There are some issues here and there, but nothing that I cannot fix on the open eye. On the naked eye, not open. Naked.
All right. Now that we've done this, we can now erase this bit and then we should be fine. So once this is done, I will be able to call off the rest of it. All right, number one, first thing first, we need to get the original color in, up and running into it. I know this sounds a little bit stupid, but we should definitely get that a little bit more into it. All right, a little bit more lighter, please. Get it a little bit more lighter up. Right there. Of course, you still want some uneven, uneven uh, coloring, but you do also want some lighter issues right here and there. Like, for instance, right here or right over here, you want some. And then you also want some deeper, deeper drawing colors, like so. Alright. There you go. Now we can see what we are need to see. So this is what we have now. That looks decent. It's a little bit on the rough side. I can I can admit that, but we should be able to get through this in no time. Now we need to make sure that this is all fixed. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. We want this to be in here, yes. All right. That's just that. Um, ah. All right. Oh, that's only the... All right, we need to grab this again, then add it in the layer style drop shadow. And now we should have all the shadows, I admit. All right. Yes, now we have more shadows to deal with. So we need to go for shadows, we need to go for size four, I believe. No, not size 4, size 20, 12, maybe? Something that gives a good old-fashioned look on it. Alright, so now we have done this, we need to copy this again. Copy the layer. Paste the layer. Then put the style off. And mishmash it. Um, so where do we don't want this? We don't need this here anymore. Because we already dealt with that. So we don't need that. Um, yeah, we already have dealt with this. We don't need this anymore. No need. We want it though. We want it over here. So we're going to first, we're going to erase some bits and nooks and crannies. 
So we're going to be erasing some bits over here, some bits over there. And I'm going to be putting this into a... Uh... Oh, wait. I need to put this into a... I need to put this in... Oh. Uh, nope. Come on. I need to put this into an empty layer. So I need to, mer need to merge it with below. Therefore, this is just a layer. Yeah, there you go. Now I can fix it. All right, so... Um, we want some bits over here we want erased. We want this to be erased, this to be erased, this. All the nasty bits. And of course, all, all of it is pure dark, as you can see. But it doesn't matter. What matters is that we now have the ability to pull again. So we should um, pull. There you go. And now... If we just move it a bit around, get it a bit to the side, right there. Yeah, move it a bit to the side. Move it to the side, come on. Oh, wait. There you go. Now move it to the side a bit, get it a bit deformed, and make it all happening. So what I want to do is opening, making the sh shading a little bit out of whack. And we're going to erase some bits. So I want to be right here a bit erased. Right there. I want that a bit erased. I want it here a bit erased. I want this to be erased. And then, you know, move, move it onwards, downwards, left and right. And the more we do this, the better it gets. So no need to worry about anything here. So as you can see, there is some bits here that I don't want. Some bits over there that I don't need. And then, you know, this can also be yeah, like this. All right, good. So now we have done this. Now we also want this to be a little bit less malicious. So we're going to go lower it down to 45. Now we're going to be only erasing the bits that... Uh, that cause a little bit of an issue right here, right there, and there. Now we have these two. We're gonna merge it with below, and there we go. So now we have this. Now we have this, and now we can add in the bits that I want. So now we should get the color up and running again, and we should get this a little bit lower. All right, so, uh, yes, no, yes, there you go. Now we want this to be a little more, oh, no, 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 no. I want this to be on this one, yes. Now what we're going to do is just highlighting the tiny bits of nooks and crannies that that we still have. And then, you know, eventually we, we, we will run into, you know, the dark spots, the light spots, and all that stuff. All the, all the buggeroos that we need. Because this technically gives us more of a idea of what we, or how we want to do it. Alright. It's quite funny to see how this all works in the first place. Alright.
Right, and there you go. It's fun how it is actually gives the grass feeling towards most of the grass in the first place, just, you know, highlighting a bit of the grass. Well, looks like uh, the package has arrived. Oh, nice. Alright, there you go. Now if we take a look at this... Oh wow, that actually looks quite decent. I like it already. Um, I really like the deformation of the grass itself caused by all of this. Alright, so... Could we do it with just a blur? Probably. Don't know if the blur is going to be causing too much of an issue, but let's let's see if it works. Nice. Look at that. Mm. Just as always. Great. All right. I did my job. I fixed the grass. Therefore, I, do I am done. And that's also within the one hour time limit. Nice. So next time, we're going to be fixing up the roots right here. And we're going to be starting with a design on the next trees in the background. And then, you know, once one tree is done, then the second one will be done, and then the third one, and then the fourth one, and then the fifth one, and then the seventh one. And then it will be very fast done. And then I, I, I think then, the, right now, we're almost uh, at at least 60% of the drawing, which is nice. Took a long, I know, but it's still good. All right. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you a lovely day. And uh, bye!